today we're going to talk about lateral tension. Uh, obviously this Jaguar has come in with a sizable piece of damage. We've got back to our uh, continuum plan. What we're going to do with this is going to dictate which level of lateral tension we're going to use. Okay, so some we might want to go a little bit more aggressive with, others we may want to bring out nice and gently and smooth under finesse. So whereabouts in this continuum plan that you sit is what we're going to look at. So we're going to start off looking with exactly what's in the L2E. So we're going to use what we've already got in your system and then we're going to explore some of the other versions as well. First thing we want to do when we look at this, we, we absolutely need to assess and analyse our damage. Because we just look at this and we think, okay, it's a fairly straightforward dent, a little bit of paint cracking at the top. So um, we're going to know this needs, this is going to need paint. Just by bringing the light in at 90 degrees, we turn that on, all of a sudden, all of this extra damage over here starts to show up. You can see lines where it's gone around the top box section. If I turn that off, you lose all of that. So if we're validating this for an insurance claim or assessing it for a customer, we absolutely want to make sure that we're seeing all of this damage because this over here, if I was going for a really, really flat finish, this is gonna affect this. So this is the main source of impact, um, but this crown across the bottom here, all the way across, and if we turn that light back on, you can see it's just caught the side impact beam. So once I say it's just caught the side impact beam, the outer skin has just ever so slightly bent around it. it hasn't damaged the interior um, intrusion beam or anything like that. That's something we do want to pay attention to. If there is any damage to the extrusion beams, um, we want to make sure that that is looked at in the OE procedures to make sure that uh, if the methods state that it cannot be repaired, we do not repair it. So we need to follow the OE uh, methods on this one. This one has only just touched it. Um, it's barely enough to damage the skin, so I know the intrusion beam is actually fine. The other thing we want to do, we need to think about, we often talk about how we reverse damage, but we need to think about this. What typically we would do is maybe come in with a glue tab in here, here and then just pull, okay? So what's happened with this, this damage is as it's, as it's gone in, and I can see a footprint here, so I'm assuming it's being kicked, as the damage has gone in, it has pulled the door this way and then spread the door that way. So we need to factor that in when we do our repair. Simply if we go from the middle and we just pull outwards, it's gonna be very, very difficult for us to get this back to um, a flat repair. So it's gonna fight us all the way. I say we can't do it, it's gonna be very, very difficult. But by employing lateral tension, and you can actually see it, if you come in and have a look at these door gaps, see the door gaps very, very close down here, and then it starts to open up, up the top here. And the same here tight door gap down the bottom. As it comes up, I can actually almost put my finger in at the top here. And then I've noticed as well, the door has come out. So there's uh, just got a bit of overlap on the rear quarter here. So you can see that the door has done this. So as it's, for this to go in, it shorten the door. So what we're gonna do about lateral tension is we're gonna reverse that process. We're going to put some outward movement this way okay so that when we start going after our center everything's going to want to flow now we talk about metal flow this is exactly what we're talking we want that metal to flow back in to this central part because this is where the damage has happened but all this extra needs to be taken into consideration if you do not address any of this this is never going to come out flat okay so we need to bring everything up and in, in the same how we do that is going to be based on where we are now continuum. Okay, so now we've assessed our damage, we're going to look at how we're going to affect the repair. So we'll start off with what's available with us within the L2E system. We have these tabs here with the carabiner on. So any of our solid tabs, what you'll notice is they do have a hole towards the end. So we can, we can grab any of these solid tabs depending on what type of pull we're looking for. And we can actually 
pop our carabiner in there. For this style, I think something like, like this glued on here. And what we're going to do for this particular one, we're going to use a vacuum tower. So this is going to be vacuum to the floor, enables us to hook up and we're going to pull with our, with our tower. Now we can also use, um, we can use pulling straps to a post. You know, we can use a multiple of, of options uh, for us. All we want to do is we want to get a hook around this and we want to be pulling this way. Now to stop the door from shifting over, we can use our blue paddle or a slapper. Um, the shiny side, we can actually glue between the two panels here. So we can just glue that between the quarter and the door. Now, which way you do your tensioning pull very much dictates or is dictated by, you know, this one here, obviously I've got this fair protrusion on the door. So I would be better off putting my tab this end and pulling this side and gluing between these two doors because these are a lot flusher. Right. The reason we're going to glue paddle between here is to stop the door from shifting over. Obviously, as, as we start putting tension on this side, what we want to do is we want this door to be held and we just want that tension to pull. Now, how much tension? You don't need as much as what you think. We are not trying to just merely pop this damage by use of lateral tension. Not say it can't be, but what we do want to be mindful of is inside our interiors. Obviously we have any bonding on here where the outer skin's bonded to the inner skin. And we put a tab on here and we start using a, a huge amount of lateral tension. You know, there is, a, there is a case, if you imagine there's our frame, there's our door skin, and we start to lateral tension, there is a chance that we could start to split that seam. All right, so we want to work well within the OE guidelines. So what we're going to do, we're going to use lateral tension to help us. We're going to create flow. We're not going to force. We've got the aggressive moves. We've got the precision moves. We really, where possible, want to be trying to move up towards the more finesse end of the continuum. Not to say we can't do it via the, the lower end. We're just, our risks are much, much higher. So if you notice on our LTT beams. We actually do have a tension gauge set up on the beam. So that just enables us to regulate how much tension we're putting on. And I think once you've got a visual aid in there, it really helps you understand just how much stretch you're putting on that panel. So what we've done here, we've set up um, this vehicle to be pulled using lateral tension for everything that's available within the L2E system. Um, obviously the tower isn't part of that, but how you pull that is, is down to you if you have straps or if you do have a tower of your own. Um, what you'll notice about this tower is, although we do have a ratchet on there, we have the infinite adjustment as well. So what we don't want to be doing is with a ratchet, typically you're going to get an over pull, under pull, over pull, under pull. So you're actually going to put more tension in there than you originally intended because you're going to pull it tight and then it's going to slack as it drops down on the ratchet. So what we've got, is the ability to tension using our ratchet and then we can do our finite adjustments using the infinite adjustment. Okay, so that's make, making sure we get a very linear pull. Great thing about this, it keeps our work zone completely open. Um, obviously, you are restricted to having something to pull from, a post. If you have two posts, even better, you can put one of these tabs on either side and pull them. So there is our first option of lateral tension.